just came up with another little uh, tip to make this easier to solder the SNS connector onto the kit mainboard. So those pins need cut, right? Well, I was doing it after soldering, and it just it sucks. So I was kind of looking at it, and it looks like you could actually just pre-cut them. So my first idea was to lay it down on there, make it level, and then run a marker across it, which you totally can do. Just like that. Then I got to looking at it, and then, and then I put it on this uh, the 3D printed bottom, and realized that it really just needs to be cut so that it's level with that the main edge. And you can see that black mark, pretty much same deal. So the black mark should be somewhat close to PCB, so you'd want the top of the black mark to be where you cut, and that's what's lining up almost perfectly with that just this top edge right here. And that just gives you more room to do this. I really need some better cutters. I've wore these things out. And then I can just lay the cutter on the one that's already cut and you kind of move over to the next pin. And I've been angling it down a little bit just to try to keep it even. And that's been working okay actually. They don't have to be perfect. That last one I just cut is short. And these things, maybe it's just the way these are cut, but man, these things fly off there with skin piercing force. So I haven't been putting my finger over top of them and just letting them fly and just turning away, turning my head away and hoping for the best, which I know is not the best policy. There we go. like that. There's still, still plenty of pin there to solder to. I've just been going for whichever ones. Easiest to solder first. Holding it until it's a little cool. Oh, I know it's getting held in place. Double check it to make sure it's still flat. And then go ahead and solder the rest of them. Let it cool some more before you pull the plug. Double check your pins, make sure they're still in line, and those are. That's why we plug the connector in, because then pins will move if uh, if they're not supported. That is so much easier. 